Hey, and welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm a fitness streamer here on YouTube, and I have another channel where I actually do my uh, live fitness streams. And people have been asking me how uh, I import those graphics. And it's just a streaming software called OBS. Uh, I actually prefer XSplit Broadcaster, but both work the same. Uh, and both work just fine. Recently, I've discovered that you can actually import your stream graphics onto private sessions. So for my private clients and my private uh, corporate group classes, which we do through Zoom or through Google Meets, uh, I discovered that you can actually import those stream graphics that you see on a live broadcast onto a private uh, stream meeting, such as Google Meets or, or Zoom. And you don't have to use anything else. You just have to change a few settings. You use the same exact software, XSplit or OBS. This video today, I'm gonna to show you how to use OBS to uh, import those stream graph or stream those graphics onto your private Zoom meetings. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually get OBS uh, Broadcaster. So you can just look that up online and just go to the website and pick the system that you're going to be using it for. I use a Windows system so I picked Windows and you just download and install. Now the next thing you're going to need is to download the OBS Virtual Cam and you just put that on the search bar and it takes you to your OBS Virtual Cam. Uh, and it's the same thing, you just go to the website, go download, install that and you're good to go. So next you're going to want to open up OBS Studio and go to Tools, open up the Virtual Cam. So it was already open for me so you press Stop, but once it's open you want to press Start and then you just simply close the screen. So next you're going to want to open up Zoom. As you can see my camera is already set on Zoom. Uh, but in order to set your camera, you just got to click that arrow over there by the video and go to the cameras and select OBS cameras. So that's where your OBS camera is located and it's already set. You're going to notice that it's flipped. So to fix that, you're going to go on and go back to the tool settings, go to virtual cam and then click that horizontal flip, just check mark it and you're um, back to normal. And just close that and there it is simple as that as you can see you are now streaming your OBS onto zoom so I can change my uh, scenes on the stream deck here just um, switching around and you can see that it works so on the left side I'm s streaming on zoom con being controlled by OBS Hope you found that video helpful. Now, I, that's not a full tutorial on how to use OBS. Uh, I'll go through another video on that, or you can find other YouTubes. There's a lot of tutorial here on how to use OBS, how to import graphics, how to create scenes. But this tutorial was just mainly how to connect your OBS camera onto Zoom. I'm gonna do another video using XSplit, uh, which is the one I prefer. You'll see it's actually one step less than the OBS. But again, both software is fine. Uh, but if you're looking for a tutorial on actually how to use OBS or XSplit, stay tuned for more videos or you can look them up here on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of great resources. But for now, hope you enjoyed this video on OBS and keep an eye out for my next video which shows you how to use XSplit Broadcaster to do the exact same thing through Zoom or Google Meets.